Hey, so you wanted to see how you can uh, parse through uh, an object array to grab just a single field from there and add it to uh, your database where you have an object array. Uh, so for ex this example, um, you provided this data that was like this that I have in this create variable. So we have this array called phone numbers. And in there are three objects. And you want it to be able to um, add just the numbers to an object array. And I have it here in my user table, uh, just this object array called info. And then in there is the number, right? So how do we go about that? So first step is so what I, I'm doing is updating um, this phone numbers array. And I'm just parsing through it. So we're getting um, basically just the raw object array so that it's no longer nested. So I got rid of the uh, phone number hierarchy there. So now we just have our three objects um, with our type and our number. OK, so because we're dealing with an array or a list, we need to actually uh, do a loop um, <clears throat> through this list. So I am now uh, doing a for each loop through this updated var1. Um, and then calling it this uh, item variable within the loop. And then in my stack here, I'm doing another update variable. So I'm taking the loop variable item, um, updating it by itself and using this filter called unset. And then I'm just taking out the path type. Um, so this will just give us an object array of the numbers. And once I do that, I can go ahead and add the record uh, to my user table and just call it uh, var1, since all that's in there is just um, the numbers. So now if I go ahead and I run this, oops, and I forgot to uh, just return my user1. But as you can see, now we get our newly created record. Our object array has our phone numbers in there. And if we jump to our database, um, you can see, and I ran this twice, so that's why you're seeing it doubled, but there is our object array uh, with our phone numbers. Um, one other note is um, if your um, first object array that you're taking in, if the path is different than, say, um, the actual path in your user record like say uh, let's say for example um, if i go in here let's say this instead of number let's go ahead and say it's something like phone number right so because these paths are different um, what we can do is now instead um, we could go ahead and set in here, a phone number field. And we would just go ahead and update it by um, item dot number. And then we go ahead and do another unset and now unset the number field because it is now uh, contained in this phone number. So once again, now I'll go ahead and run this and we'll get a phone number in there. So there you go. Hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have um, any more questions.